what you have said, should take medical authority seriously. You said that might be a little too extreme of you. I don't know why it is, but you were talking about two norms. Please, so please continue. Sure. So, so there's two there's two norms, right? One is scientific debate has to be open. Uh, when there's evidence that that comes out, you you decide who's right, who's wrong. At the, it, it has to be absolutely open to new ideas and challenges. There cannot be a challenge, uh, uh, any any violation of that, or you're not doing science. That's norm one. On the other hand, there's a public health norm where there has to be some unanimity of messaging. So when there's dissent in public health, well, I mean that that might undermine public health. It's dangerous to undermine public health. I mean that and and that's actually not an unreasonable norm, right? If if uh, if you have a whole range of opinions about about public health, uh, what the right thing to do, the, it sort of may undermine the ability of public health people to give out good information uh, to help guide the public who's not paying attention reasonably to the scientific literature. The problem, I think, has been the substitute in a situation where there really was deep scientific uncertainty, we immediately jumped to the public health norm of unanimity messaging. The moral basis of that norm is that the science has been done to justify it, but that it hadn't been done to justify it. And through the whole epidemic, we've seen this, that somehow it's dangerous to, to push back on, pub, on public health messaging and ideas that actually don't have a solid scientific basis, where there's great, deep uncertainty and huge amount of debate still left to be done. And it's been dangerous for science and incredibly damaging for public health. I think we need to address both. Both science and public health have been harmed by this epidemic, uh, about the way that the, the policies have been moved forward in the epidemic, and I hope to be able to help address that in the coming Well, coming you years. are, and I salute you. It's an honor to speak to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Dennis. Really honor to speak to you as well. Yes. The people who love science do not love lockdowns and masks. That's the science. I'm Dennis Prager.